gets carried. He definitely, he definitely gets carried by the big green button. Okay, I'll see you guys later. So, <laughs> winners, winners, winners finals is going to be decided uh, on the back of that match. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, top eight winners is decided. It's going to be Venier versus Jewel and Mr. E versus Stretch. Looks like we're going to opt to go with Mr. E versus Stretch versus you. Makes sense that top three. Hey, I want to play uh, E and Winners Finals. I think that would be cool. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> What's up? I'm going to play uh, E in Winners Finals, and then you can meet me and Grants. Oh, all right. Just like that. Okay. Susina. All right. Okay, sounds good. Sounds Susina. great. Wow, we're really about to watch a ditto, huh? Are we? No. Yep. Honestly, it's just me. I might as well just Three, play with Cena too. Two, right. Nah, that would throw that would throw it off balance. <laughs> port one is Mr. E. Port two is D A Stretch. That was OD. He got under him beside B. That's not the call out you do for the first hit of the game, bro. That's like a game <laughs> three kind of. <laughs> I'm already in his head. I'm already in your head. I already won this match. Oh wow. Good nares from Stretch. Ooh. You can see so Stretch was trying to land on him, time his fair, you know, you know, take his time. And he just <laughs> just bear. <laughs> just get away from me. Basically. He's like, no. Nah. Yo, that was F Smash? Get off me, please. Ooh. Good back air. I don't see, see I, I I don't see how you can trick your own character up off stage. Yeah. All right, he's gonna take the first stop. What are we gonna see? Are we gonna see E run away with this? Or are we gonna see Stretch keep it close? As he's known to do. Oh. Did it jump? Get off? Oh, he had that punish. Uh, he had it, he had it. Oh. I like the counter. Yeah. Oh, two, the balls Stretch is one, swinging too the early at everything, man. Ooh, take your time, ooh. bro. Yo, no jump. That's it. He, he baited out. He, he <laughs> ran off stage, mm -hmm. said you have to recover high. He wrote that whole scene. Basically, that was part of the script. Oh, he tried to cross him up. He, yeah, I was just good at that. He's yeah, like, you I was cross expecting the cross up. up but I'm, if and if I was stretched up. I mean, they they both act like they they're going off stage. Yeah, they're both like, I'm gonna go over there, and then they don't. <laughs> oh, he's about to go. He's about to go. See, nah. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, dare? This is Cena. Ooh! Ting, Yo, you ting. know that move you just used? This is what it looks like if you hit. <laughs> right? Go off stage. Go off stage. Go off stage. Go off stage. Nah. Huh? Play with us. That's only... Go. 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 That's the scenes they put in the trailer that don't end up in the movie. Right. It's like, they're not actually going off stage. We just wanted you to pay attention. Go. Is he gonna land? Yo, he actually lands with the Nair, the smallest hitbox. Yeah, he back here? Get, gets him out. Yeah, he did that. He did that really quick. I mean, we saw that when we were at that first stop. That rising bear. It's a thing. Yeah. That kills. Man, wow. That looked pretty convincing, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. I was gonna say something else, but convincing is the right one. All right, he's not going to switch to one of his other characters. He's going to stay. I want to see the Donkey Kong. We <laughs> might see the Donkey Kong today, actually. <laughs> All right, so are we going to see some adjustments? Or are we like, going to see E just when watch When E him plays off? you in Loser's Finals? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I hate this ditto because every, every bit of movement counts. Yeah, for sure. It's like who's who's better at not wasting their movement. Exactly. Oh wow. So I saw the surprise up B and I immediately assumed stretch. But it was E. It was E this time, finish. yeah. It's like swing first, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, he had the move. Even now that stretch is doing better, it still feel like E's controlling everything. Yeah. It's like, I don't have a read on you right now, but maybe I will next time. <laughs> yo, Let that's a shimmy, yo. Oh, now he went off stage. When he was not oh. supposed to, he went off stage. Good reaction on the DI after the down throw. And he had a solid 20%. I feel like Stretch is just not alive right now, you know? 
Do something. Show me you're alive. What do you want him to do? Like, do I, I feel like he's just like floating around out though. E in this set. I, I feel like, like you that's, know that's like the he's challenge right now. Like, but I have like, to figure out. If you don't know what to do, then don't run out of yet. Take your time. That seemed like a good idea. It was a good idea actually. He's gonna mess up. What was that? They're, just, <coughs> they're both just walking side by side. Ooh, nice nair. All right. Shrash still in this. Show some signs of life. Is he so gonna go? Him. Oh, he. How did he call? He called the early up B out. That was smart. No, he didn't. I swear. You, guys. you know that was a reaction. <laughs> wow, upwards. Does upwards do anything in this game? Uh, I put him on the platform, which was where Stretch wanted him. That was OD. Oh, okay. He's facing that. Yo! Get off me. The anti air with the up B? He was just jumping there. Oh He's getting all these grabs. He's moving. He has his jump. <laughs> Stretch has his jump. Oh my god, he could have smashed. Oh. E is just moving now. Yeah, E's just moving, bro. No grab him? Okay. Try to do more damage than I grab him. Yo! I, 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 thought that was, I thought that was I thought that was E doing the counter. What's happening? Don't get bared. I wanna see Stretch take another stock. And then I feel like he can slow it down. And have a chance to bring it back. That was a good parry up to it. Nice fair on the top platform. E, e oh, not slowing yeah. down at all. He called he called that out. Every every chance he got to pressure Stretch. He did. He did. That's how deep. All right, so Mr. E guaranteeing himself that spot in the top eight, or top three, excuse me. He'll be here in the winner's final. Oh, yeah. He's Lucinos. Look at him. Look at him walk. <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> Lucinos pretty much decided spots. also. John Numbers, Goofy, Marshall versus Jeebs. MGW has a fight, Coontail. Oh, and shoot. Bars That's versus Sonic Fiend. All right, sounds like a good bracket. Yeah, yeah, we got some real stuff. Oh, the match arena's still open, by the way, guys. Please contribute if you can. We're at 24 bucks. If you want me to love you, just contribute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we do appreciate you guys once again. Uh, the code is going let 8 tonight for free 50 cent donations. Oh, it looks like I play again. All right, good luck. I thought here. there was a rule. Oh, wait, no, this is... It's, not it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's too small anyway of a tournament for that. I think they just kind of do whatever they want, bro. Alright, good luck, guys. So, Jewel versus Venia. I believe that's the matchup that we're about to see. Let's see what the bracket says. Yep, Jewel versus Venia. Should be a good one. I'm excited to see what these two can do. Once again, Match Arena. Make sure to check it out, guys. 24 bucks, as I said. Go on late 80 is the code. You can also check out the 24-hour fitness Twitter quest. If you follow that one, you get 50 cents of the prize for free. And 50 cents to see Spooky for free. Ooh, Spooky. Thank you guys. What's up, Kuntel? Welcome back, bro. Uh, how you doing, Spook? Good, man. Just chilling, man. Ready to see this one. We're going to have a nice one between the homies Jewel and Venya. Mm -hmm. uh, Venya's been very dominant here at uh, Team DA Smash so far. Oh, yeah. He is some kind of he is some kind of animal when it comes down to this game. That is for sure. A little bracket update for anyone who's following along for me. I actually ended up getting out at ninth tonight. Lost matches to, uh, or lost sets to John Numbers and Professor MGW. Okay, that's here in the losers, actually. We see it. Mm hmm. Did a decent job tonight, though. First one back. Shout outs to the 30 year olds still holding it down. <laughs> yeah, good stuff, bro. Try better than me in this game, man. Well, hey, you know what, though, man? I got the homies around here tonight. This place has been the coolest reunion I've ever had. Everyone's been absolutely chill as hell, so uh, I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, great, man. It's good to see you, bro. Mm -hmm. Venya player, uh, excuse me, Port 1, he's playing his Greninja mm -hmm. up against Julius Robin. Man, they are fighting aggressively oh, off stage yeah. right now. That's craziness. Yeah, and I, I just played Professor MGW who's playing Greninja as well. Let me tell you, Greninja can keep you off stage. He has no business giving you any inch to get back on that ledge. Dude, I love the way he's using the hydro pumps right now. He's all over the place. Mm -hmm. Nice interrupt. And I'm over here just taking down matchup notes right now because Vegas over here throwing it down. Solid yeah, spacing. 
his off his off stage game with the uh, with the water pumps is amazing. Yeah, those never things, miss, never Yeah, mean. those things do have a hurt box for those wondering at home. It's not an attack that will hit you directly, but it will throw you off your game. It'll interrupt your moves, and it'll it'll generally make your life miserable when you're trying to get back on the ledge. As you see right oh, there. Oh, that was yep. godlike. Mm -hmm. Wow. And especially against a character like Robin, who's got such an absolutely locked-in recovery. Mm -hmm. that That's no yeah, bueno. That no normally, that's a stock that, that he would probably make it back on stage. Mm-hmm. Benio is in real nice safe space in right now, playing good footsies and opening up. Good DI. Wow, awareness of the parry there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, pull a little health back, saying, all right. Jab string. And getting no luck on the arc fires as of right now, which got him a lot of mileage earlier in bracket. He's got a spell stocked up. Ooh. Oh. Oh, and wow. just like that, took the trade. Smart man. Yeah, that was that thing's so active. And I think he was ready to give the stock right there too, and just ended up lucking out. So he yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah. He got his cake and ate it too. Okay. Now we get the stock. There but it's still go. two to one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice got combo. Ooh, Ooh, that was tight. All right, we're looking fresh on this stock right now. Bring it back. Bring it back. No wasted resources. Robin, like a freaking RPG character out here. Oh, go away from Venya. Spray it down. F smash? Nah, up smash. Oh. Good coverage. He tried to ledge jump him there. Mm -hmm. And that that's, was a, that's good. That was a nifty mix up. That was smart, because now you see back on the stage. Yeah, and that's the the counter. That's <sighs> so tricky. Yo, <laughs> being a projectile user, man, you just you have no idea when you're gonna make that mistake too. There were three times in my set I ended up having that go wrong, so. Shout out to Greninja. Really got the ill substitute going on right now. All right, so Venya first game. This is a best of three set. Actually, it's all best of three here for the uh, DA Smash. Even the winners finals was just finals and grind. And I got to say, that's probably nice for a weekly on a Tuesday night It's, anyway. it's pretty yeah. good for the, the kids that actually do want to go home and have to go to school the next day and all that good stuff. I mean, not even just the kids. I like to eat dinners, so, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, dude. When I do Battle Circuit, I don't get home until 3 or 4 a.m. usually. This at least I get home at a decent time. You got a black hole in your, your, yeah, your center of your body. Yeah, the over when that happens, man. The next day, most of the morning is over, too. Mm. Man, this offstage game is crazy. These guys are brave. Right, he's at 9%. He's already out there, too. Like, no time wasted. He's, like, wasted. chasing like he wants to take the stock. Are you serious? Oh, and Robin with so many so many horrifying screeches and howls right there. Sounding really questionable. <laughs> like... All right, we got some nice, nice back and forth here. They're still fighting for stage control, as we see. Venya holding it down. Really love the, the dash block by Vendia, just trying to invade space. Yeah, and that's that, that's a crafty input. You know, it seems like no big deal, but let me tell you, sometimes it takes more effort than you think. In this game, hard committing a dash is ugly. You know, and it's just funny, Spooky Man, because this is the first time around we really got a Smash Brothers that like, treats us like a fighting game, like buttons. Like, you yep. hit buttons. What did you do? That was all you, all on those wrong buttons, you, you know? You know, the, big, the biggest difference I find, right, is you know how uh, you can't easily go through someone when they shield now yep. like you could in the old days, mm -hmm. right? So in the old days, you know, there was so much, like, go through them and cross them up the other way. They're running, attacking, oh, whatever yeah. else you wanted mm -hmm. to do. In this, yeah, I feel you, it's a little more Street Fighter-ish that you could block or parry, yeah. like how Jewel just tried to do, and you could kind of hold your ground a yeah. lot more. It makes a big difference. It makes a huge difference, and it changes up the game entirely because, truth be told, man, that's not that's not normal Smash Brothers for a lot of different people, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. Now, Jewel, really, really flexing this game right now as he's, he's looking, sitting there. Looking amazing. Yeah. Oh, man, the wall tech was not enough. That no. was crazy. Yeah, it was. There, <laughs> he wall tech and he still died. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't even think that was a wall tech. That was oh, how okay, hard he hit the stage. Hit that, that was hard, how hard okay. he hit the stage. <laughs> like, you got to figure out that you hit the stage. The character's like, oh, this is a wall. All right, we got to go the other way. Like, <laughs> that was wow. Yeah, and you get untechables in this game now, too, with those kind of hits, which is just mm. absurd because you got to watch the character eat the whole stage and then go flying into the blast zone. Speaking of flying in a blast zone right now, though, Jules got Vayne right on the ropes. Pretty soon he's going to be flying himself. There we go. Yep, he's looking good. One more of those up, up, Protecting and away. There we go. Beautiful. 
All right, one apiece. Mm. Looking clean. Uh, to Underwater who's wondering, so this is this is at next level, but it's not next level Battle Swag. It's a Tuesday event that we do. It's run by Team Deadly Alliance. Next level Battle Swag will be tomorrow, so tune in for that one if you want to see it. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we got a good one. Venia versus Jewel, winner semifinal. Winner will be guaranteed top three. We got a nice 24 bucks in the match between us tonight. What's up, Wayne Gamble? What's good, homie? He said down smash his ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Greninja up against Robin. Same matchup. Mm -hmm. This time we're on FD. Yeah, and I could definitely see why Venue would be going FD. A little obvious for any character that's got combo strings that strong. But yeah, Jewel oh. definitely closed that one out with a platform combo. Oh, yeah. Game. And his platform, you know, th those platforms as a whole seem to really spell out absolute hell for Venya. Venya, Venya got two stock there. That, that ain't, that didn't look like that was going to happen at all this set. I got to say, one thing I'm really learning in this set is is that not only does Jewel have really good perfect shields, but Venya has really good anti-perfect shield tech where mm -hmm. he lands perfectly so that even if you perfect shield, you really can't approach. And there are certain moves that help out with that too, like multi-hits are fantastic, because even if they parry, you'll still go clear through them. So I like that spacing too, setting up a lot of potential multi-hits also. Nice wow. smash. That was great. They did a really good job. Forced that air dodge out of Venya. Air dodge? Mm. Nope. I see Greninja's so aggressive. He didn't hit with three hits of that string yet. It still felt like he was just, you know, already done with it. It's crazy, man. Yep. This character is... That just looked. That just looked like he's a sequence that he was used to doing many times. Mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, Greninja on that AA, that amphibious assault, spraying water all over the place. But all right, Jewel getting right back into it, going cross stage right there. Got people road tripping right now, going coast to coast. That was nice. Mm -hmm. Really good recovery. Yep. Caught that commitment to the dash right there. As such great neutral being played by Jewel right now, you know, besides a couple misspaced projectiles, really just so wary of Greninja and how aggressive he really is. Nice dodge. Mm-hmm. That up smash though, man. That thing is so crazy. Up smash forward air. <laughs> Wasn't fully stocked. Man, he's really good with that A string too. Mm-hmm. I'm loving what I'm seeing right now, because honestly, Robin is another character that gets a bad rap in this game. Robin is seen as a, a, a piss poor character, pardon my French, you know? Like, it's so. She's definitely not popular. Mm. He's making it work. Oh! Last stock. And that was dirty, because he got the, it looked like Venya may have dropped shield, but I think that might have been a shield stab. I think he just beat that shield might've, down. Might have, I'm not sure. Shield okay. stab, a very big thing oh! in this game. That's bad, that's bad. Woo! Okay, upbeat. Thankfully, he got his jumps back. Yeah, he was cool as a cucumber there. Definitely waited because even a quick re-grab could have spelled out a very bad two-frame situation for our boy Jewel. Combo. Oh. Nice throw. <laughs> the, the sternest of reads right there. Opened up chapter two, said, ah, I see you, Venya. Oh, he waited for the dodge. Oh, nice DI. Wow. Very. Still a game. Hanging in there. And Venya got a little cautious there. Mm -hmm. Venya ain't too safe himself right now. A couple more of these hits, and this is going to spell no, out this the speed. Whoa, the chase down. Yo, he got out of his chair. Yo. That was close. And that was clean. Well done. Dang, well what done a set. Jewel. Venya putting on a great show right there, but Jewel just looking top notch. World class. Wow, that was impressive, man. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so Venya in the loser's bracket. Not the first time that we've seen him in losers here at the gauntlet, but <laughs> I hear people like, yes, around me. <laughs> John Nervous walked up like, yes, I have a chance now. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Wes is like dancing behind us. He's like, yes. Throwing it down. Oh, man. All right, well, Venya uh, possibly in danger. He's got to work his way through the loser's bracket. We'll see what happens. But yeah, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set there. Mm -hmm. That was great. That was very Slick impressive. Business. Slick business. All right, Maturino guys, once again, is still active. Make sure to check it out, everyone, especially if you enjoyed that set. We're at 24 bucks tonight. The code, the code is Gauntlet8 for free 50 set donations. Thanks, everyone. Coming up next, Loser's Bracket. Loser's Bracket, indeed. Oh, and it's my friend.
There he is. Yep, it's the homie John Numbers up against Jeeves. Yep. Former Ooh. Nintendo World Champion, 2015 edition. Just so you know, I beat him with free for alls earlier today. <laughs> 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 Taking that sick amount of clout right off the table. <laughs> <laughs> like an apple out of the freaking fruit basket. I love it. <laughs> I literally, I won two matches after the first one. I looked at him and I was like, didn't you win the Nintendo World oh. Championship or something? <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Gotta get that stern walk off on him. Drop the controller like I am the greatest. There you go. Well, you start breaking in averages, you're looking like a real champion. That's how we do it. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have Jeeps Wolf. Jeeps Wolf and uh -huh. the Inkling Numbers. Yep, and Numbers. Now, I was lucky enough to get a chance to play Jeebs a little bit earlier. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, congrats to him on his, his great losers run right now. Because unfortunately, I hit two very tough opponents. Was not able to get myself through them. Fair fell fell prey at ninth, but Jeebs still holding it down. This will be the this will be a match that he can brag about if he wins, honestly. Mm -hmm. Right now, neutral looking fairly even. We've got little picks in neutral. John Numbers opted for Inkling this game. Definitely not going to see a me sword fighter against Wolf would be my understanding. Jeeves actually told me he doesn't know this matchup. And that's see, and I've, I've spoken to so many people tonight, and I swear the theme of Ultimate is not knowing matchups. <laughs> it is just like, okay. Ooh, that FTL is money. All right, no ledge guard in progress, just lasers. Oh, read no. the Nair. You saw uh, Numbers tilted a shield up preemptively. No jump left. Yeah, forward beat in the wrong situation. That's when you actually got to up beat. Mm. Which is so scary as Wolf. That's such a commitment. I don't think there are many characters that can commit harder than Wolf pressing up B. <laughs> yep. It's the truth. Yeah. Like that character, man. Oh, numbers playing a very uh, non-interactive game. I think he just wants to rack on percent and not, not, not be near Wolf. And that makes perfect sense because every one of Wolf's moves will probably kill Inkling at this point. So yeah. I, I, I wouldn't be anywhere near that. Not to mention Jeeves not really pressing the buck here, you know? Like, he trying to trying to sit back and take his time, but that being said, Inkling's still a huge advantage. Right. He can afford it only because he has five minutes on the clock, but eventually he'll have to consider moving a little faster. For now, I can see him doing this and just going a little slow. And I would agree with that more if his opponent wasn't John Numbers, who is so ready to just play Do the nothing. script out. Yeah, he, he, he will sit there and, and show you what the script is and make you realize you had no Ooh, lines in the first place. Oh, man. You know, I saw a scenario where Inkling committed to upbeat over the ledge and then, you know, plopped on the ground and Wolf went for the punish and yep. got hit by the... Uh, yep, exactly. <laughs> the good, oh, just like the script Black. said, you had no lines. You just get to sit there and just be on stage. Now I'd worry a little bit because you're actually on your last stock of a game. And uh, yeah, especially with Inkling sitting on a fresh stock themselves, that's a whole lot of work ahead of you. Okay. Nice up air. Resets into a good nair, but does not tr convert in that scenario. Oh, there's the tech. Good job. Oh. Up B forward was not the wave there. Yeah, it was definitely a side B moment, but it's a hard call to make as Wolf, as we said. Yep. Sometimes you just do not want to forward B. Yeah. Sometimes you go for up B and, well, And side B's bad. got such an interesting interaction with the ledge, too. You know, a, the, the two frame opportunities, if you really are good enough at putting the hitboxes out there, are unreal. Apparently, when it comes down to it. it's not even a two frame window. It it's just like a takes, pause. It takes Wolf longer than the traditional up B's to snap if he does forward B. Like, the hitbox is big, but it's actually really easy to interact oh, with. Oh, yes. And Wolf usually dies for it because it's usually after a jump. Mm hmm. One, Couldn't right. agree more. Town and City? Wonder what difference this does for Jeebs. And yet again, I, I I still stand by Town Smashville. I don't think these are stages to fight Inkling on. As both possibly, but that being said, it just gives it gives John Numbers so much room to work with and chase Wolf all over the stage. A uh -huh. little bit of ink and just ugh. I'd probably want Inkling somewhere in close quarters, just so you can't run around, dash dance, and throw out your aerials as free as you'd like. And on top of that, I'm Wolf, and Inkling is light as hell. If I get a stray hit and it's a smaller stage, it's just going to benefit me massively, so... Right. Stray hits might actually kill. Oh. Yeah. Especially Ooh, from Wolf. that's a good down air. If only you have smashed the other way. <laughs> we're getting punished. Ink everywhere. Yep. Mom's going to kill I us. just inked. <laughs> Did you say Nemo? <laughs> Um, all right. 
I mean, Jeeves oh. getting the uh, the uh, tank to the gun yeah. in his throat. But 88%, not bad. Honestly, Wolf is can kill at this percent. Numbers is playing a good, patient game, though. And against a character like Wolf, that is so damn important, because right. his character just makes up percent. And on that platform, I wish Jeeves would have gone for grab, because Numbers was coming out of the uh, the, the uh, animation for restoring ink. Mm -hmm. He's got lag. Oh. Yeah, this is worst case scenario. That is a full 300 pay unit. Oh, wow. That, that quality Japanese mash right there. Yeah. I mean, it was below 100, so the mash wasn't at that uh, point where it can... That being said, though, the window is still. Yeah, you, you got it. You, you're mashing for your life if you're under 100. Yeah, above I don't 100. care what the sound I'm at. I'm gonna mash that button. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I'll break the uh, the whole control stick off, man, Yo, just did, to know. Did you say I need another controller? Yeah. Why? I only used it once. Yeah, I had to get out of. Hey, I, I just wanted to plug in a second controller here so I could mash better. Is that a problem? <laughs> could I <laughs> could I put in an extension for buttons? Ah, <laughs> oh, no grab there. John very comfortable with just playing patient, stock ahead, doesn't have to go in. And I feel like this is this is just a matchup with John. You gotta keep that stock situation under control, because otherwise, the snowball is so relentless. Yep, yeah, as you can see. Yep. Oh, that's a problem. And Jeeves struggling, struggling to net percent and kills. And the worst part is too, it takes so long to shake off ink. If you actually end up having, you know, two thirds of your body covered in ink, it's gonna take some time to get off. And that's just powering everything Inkling does. It's like, oh man. Especially with Jab being such a common punish tool. Yeah, especially for numbers. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Black. That'll be something for him to review. Mm-hmm. Most certainly. Ooh. Okay. So I think the order now is going to be Bars versus MGW. Then we're going to go into Winner's Finals. And then we're going to run the Loser's Gauntlet bracket. Got you. For both. Got you. Something like that. That sounds about right. Maybe we'll do uh, this part, round of losers first before winners finals. I'm not sure, but for sure we're gonna see uh, bars versus MG. Yeah, because usually you just want the uh, one bracket piece line when you do the gauntlet. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean the DA gauntlet. I mean the gauntlet of whoever's in losers, praying that they can get out. Yeah, Every making that wins. run, making that mad dash for the door. I'll tell you, I'm already not excited because I have to play Inkling because mm. I'm still in bracket and I play numbers. Nice. Not excited. No, I'm playing. Stay, um, stay hyped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing against a squid that likes to ink on people. Mm -hmm. What's exciting about that? Probably the ink. For who? That See, that's a, that's a different question. You ask one question, <laughs> I can give you an answer. But you ask me a second question, now we're just playing games. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> like, I'm just like, oh, but... <laughs> but uh, for who? It's like, hmm... Oh man! All right, so we're probably gonna see Pit Greninja in this scenario. Absolutely. I, I feel like MGW was on, has honestly been feeling himself today, and he, I've only seen him go Greninja today, so I assume that's what he's gonna stick to. Yeah, I I got a chance to fight him earlier, and it was definitely Greninja that I went up against. And I have to say, man, Greninja needs to stop being a sleeper. People know about him, obviously, that have played against him, but you know, I play old people all the time, and I will Lucina, Palutena. Ike, you know, I'll, you rattle them off, you'll know, you'll get through your top five. But you know who I don't see who plays like a character like that? Greninja. And that's just an absolute travesty. People, you, you know what it is? Greninja's like a very specific character. Yes. Where he can, um, he does very well punishing people for being aggressive, but a lot of his setups don't actually come from like, I want to say immediate follow-ups. Follow like if you watched uh, yeah. me play MGW, a lot of the times that I died, he would actually hit me with a down tilt. Go for the fair, the first one I was Thank able you. to air dodge, I would get stuck in the air dodge animation, land on the platform, and he would do it again. Yep. This time it would be true, and I'm just like, why does Greninja have a setup like this where they can basically make me push a button and then kill me for it? And the craziest part is you, you, you mark that it starts with dash, it starts with down tilt, but yet again, at low percent, you get the same situation from dash, dash attack. attack. Yep. Neutral air. Yep, exactly. Falling fair. Like, I, I have to say, that's why I give Greninja so much credit, is that for once in a, in a game like Smash Brothers, you have consistency amongst hitboxes. Like, mm -hmm. all of his launchers have those gorgeous angles on them, and it's like, man. Oh, I love that, setup that's, angles. That's why you see people like Venya and MGW mixing people yep, on stream. Exactly. All right, so we're gonna get into this pit Greninja. 
I mean, their matches in general, from what I know, over the course of time, are usually pretty even. But I haven't gotten to see much of their play in this game, other than my play with MPW. So, I don't have any true input on how this is going to go. And right off the bat, it's looking like Bars was doing an unbelievable job of taking stage control and forcing MG, uh, MGW to respond. Ooh. Yeah, and then we see Greninja land one of those mini Q combos, the momentum killers. Yep. Falling up air, down tilt. Yeah. But it was like a weird bounce animation. I guess he missed the time for this. Jab block? And there were a couple moments where he seemed just, just momentarily off of that. So it seems like that may be something that MGW is dealing with today. Good choice. Yeah, no uh, disengage in neutral. Good air dodge read. All right. We see an early up. Oh, you got attack. Nice tech. Oh, yeah. That is such a meaty option because of the armor on that move. A lot of pits will go for that. The neutral get up into punch your jaw in. Yep. And with its ability to reflect, too. Had there even been a sure you can to try and get in the way of that, oh it is. Oh, God. Peace. <laughs> and get off me, Frogger. <laughs> you high tiers haven't learned yet. Gonna just like, let me show you why people sleep on me. Right? It's like, but I need Palatina to help me fly. Yeah, like, I just want to up B cancel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Bars, again, putting on just a little bit of damage at a time. Even however slow it is happening, he's not getting KO'd, which is super important. He's gotten 64% bonus right now in Raw Neutral. Nice ass match. Now we had 84. That's a throw. Yeah. But no kill. Not yet. And starting to, starting to get a little bit of a physical response from MGW Ooh. as well. So I think he's, he's, he's getting a little flustered, having a hard time get at this pit. That's the second time that that forward beat has killed. Mm -hmm. So I think th I'm sure Bars will go for it again because it's working. But I'm imagining that MGW has seen it by now and will have an answer to it, whether it's a shield or space out away from it. Okay. And that was so that needed, stock. too. That was so needed because Greninja had lost all combo percents. There was, you know, just absolutely fishing at that point. And it's a Greninja right. player. That's got to that's gotta tilt you quite a bit. Usually, you just get all of it right there, right in front of you. So That's the truth. At that high percent, you just need a hit. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, we push him? Tried to push him off into the Infernal. And so, nice so hard to do against Pit with how low he could drop. Really crazy low recoveries from that character. Yep, but like you said in the previous uh, commentary, it also is very linear. Yes, absolutely. Nice. I feel like MPW is getting a little bit more of a grasp right now. Ooh, that's a narrow up smash. That's cool. oh, <laughs> that's a slow <laughs> hitbox. Nice up there. Are we gonna see a second one? Bars in disadvantage, struggling to get out. Reset neutral. Was able to land. No hitboxes thrown. He was over there blessing every jump, just like, Woo, we out, we out! Spot dodge. First hit on MPW in the second. Oh, nice fair. Once again, bars in disadvantage. With the ability to jump nice and high. See the forward B? That one was aerial. Yeah, though, even so that one, expected. yeah, exactly. Uh, Same knockback on it, or? No, that's I, I don't think so. I think the grounded one struck. That's what I thought as much as, because I was going to say, the grounded one killed twice before, and that was roughly the same percent, so I was like, I, I hope With there's a difference. Rage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, I had a face because dash attack killed. Mm. Dash attack's killing this game. I use it too, but like... Most of the dash. Attack. That's the same face yep. I see every time I kill someone with Junior's cart spin out. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. Yep. <laughs> it anti airs. Cause, cause a smash ultimate. When, when you need new properties to move, smash ultimate. Where do you go? Smash ultimate. That's right. When you want an air dodge that'll get you killed, smash, smash ultimate. ultimate. When you want to buffer something so extremely hard combos become true, smash ultimate. Do you want to be punished for pressing buttons finally? Smash ultimate. That's a joke. You get to swing at people's shields and you're plus. <laughs> you're low key plus. Relax yourself. Relax yourself. The call out is real here, guys. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> so, now we have the Rob switch. I'm not sure how I feel because Rob is a projectile heavy character. He has two big tools top and laser. And they can be reflected. Oh my god. Had more than enough gas to make it back, but just the fear. Just the fear right there. 
Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, almost got taken from that man. <laughs> Bless yourself for a safe trip. It's ugly right now. <gasps> All right. That's a good top trade. That's a neutral reset. Just roughly. Oh, no. That, that was, was so close to not hitting. And that was a big call out, too. He really he really felt that from every, from the center of his core. He's like, mm -hmm. right here. Come on. MW sat back a little bit. Threw his hands up just for a second. You can see that it's a little frustrating. Nice punish. Rob's uh, up smash covering the platform roughly all together. Yeah. I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. I think that's just an L. Yeah. Um, Cry. Point your shield down. <laughs> Cry. <laughs> and then hope you don't get up yeah, there. Exactly. <laughs> Nice. We got a fair on deck. Yeah, not a after the fair, he was minus, so pick out a punish. Good laser. Seed drop. Yep. Nair coverage. Ooh, nice. We have a reversal of percents right now. Mm -hmm. MGW making a pretty good decision right now. Ooh, that's a grab. Laser. Nah. Yo, Beyblade. Let it rip. <laughs> there it is. Let it rip. Bars. Struggling to get back. Oh, the top run out just in time for him to actually do that get up attack. Missed out quick, sadly. This is a duck and an up smash. Great yeah. coverage. Unfortunately, there's a set amount of time, I believe, that when you mash out, when you get the jump out, you're actually not able to do anything. Mm -hmm. So Rob will still up smash you before you can actually like air dodge. Yeah, and so up smash has that grounded hitbox, too, that'll push you straight up into it. So it's not like you're going to luck out. No, nah, you just, that's just an L. Woo! Yo, this man went off and said, nah, I want this game. It is very even right now. I'm actually enjoying this match very much. Good down tilt, but it's not safe. Both players just showing, you know, patience. And just such great aspects of neutral footsies, back and forth consistently throughout this set. It's always great when you don't see any form of a blowout. Mm -hmm. I'm personally a fan of very close games. Makes everything that much more interesting, right? I'm much. While while I might be more happy about a blowout, only like because I I might have might completely outplayed the player. Yeah. And winning a close match is so. There's so much stress oh, relief. There are very like, few feelings that feel as good as that. Because you're nervous, you're scared. You're <laughs> like, I don't want to be the one to go into losers, and then you hit them and you win. And you're like, Ooh, we have a lot of stop damage on this. Ooh. That was a condition. He couldn't go back into the top. He would have gotten hit. Ooh. Another. Check. Are we going to see the drop? He went for Z-drop down smash. Yeah. I just got interrupted on that. Because get-up attacks are invulnerable until the first frame of the hitbox, I believe. So it becomes very hard to punish. Unless you shield. This is a very... Ooh. Yo, he's trying to answer him back. Oh. So get-up attack hit the top, and then he got hit anyways. Yeah, that was... Oof, don't get sniped. And just looking for whatever he can find. Just don't fish too hard. See, there was like five down tilt. Yeah. There. I mean, this is the point where people get nervous. If I were bars, I'd be nervous just because of the possible game three scenario, and he's at throw percent. Yeah. But I'm MGW. I'm, I got chills. Simply because I could lose. And that's how we bring it to game three. Well done. And that's what you need to do. I mean, look. Keep playing it out. I'm going to partially recycle the same joke. Pit doesn't know how to fly, right? Mm -hmm. Rob made him fly. Yeah, that's very true. He, uh, he picked him up and said, go, little bird. Here you uh, go. And Shot him well, out of a cannon. Well, I mean, I assume it worked because Pit didn't come back. No. He's out there flying around. Never, never land. Yeah. I just don't know if he's flying so much with his wings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, got that wormhole travel. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to... We're gonna we're gonna go to game three. I agree with the Rob pick, although if I were MGW, I'd really try and not showcase my frustration simply because if someone sees you're frustrated, they're probably gonna do the same stuff like they, that they see get you frustrated. And it's also just an easy way to get someone to start slowing the pace down, trying to mess with you a little bit more. Like you said, you know they're gonna play to your weakness, so you, you got you can't give out that much information, especially on your current mind state. That's not gonna get you anywhere. I'll tell you, when I was playing MGW and I was down after the first game, when we were last hit on game three, I was. I was borderline pooping my pants, yeah. but I wasn't showing an inch of it. I yep. was like, nope, nope, can't happen. It might have shown in gameplay, but I'm not going to physically show you that I'm nervous. And I'm all, I'm all for throwing down. You know, if you're, if it's tighter, if it's close, and you, you know, you're getting a little bit 
just shaking that controller around, showing some energy. I'm not against it, but there were a couple times where I think that was starting to get a little negative, and it's like, don't taint the mindset. Ooh. Oh! Oh! No! Ooh. He got back! If he got the second actual spike, I think Rob would have been KO'd. I agree, because this game's blast zones for spikes are absolutely ruthless, too. Yeah. So. Did you get spiked? Well, it's going to be like 50% closer now. Yeah, thank you. Did you even come close to the blast zone yet? Oh, wait, we'll move it up a little bit. Yeah, just we'll, a little bit. We just, we just focused the camera so you die soon. Yep. How much does it actually bring the blast zone closer, though? Because I'm pretty sure that's what it does, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it technically makes it so that you hit the blast zone almost the moment you touch the bubble. It, it's That's ridiculous. There have been times where I actually saw the bubble at the bottom of the stage, and I still died while practically, like, there, present. <laughs> it was like, oh, this is just one of those things that they don't want you to understand. But anyway, moving back on. This is uh, Bar's counter pick, by the way. Yeah, and it's showing. Um, Battlefield generally works well for sorties. Pit technically is a sortie. He has multi-hit, so he can shark kind of well, keep people in shield pressure. That's Oh, wow, Bar's mashing hard. Not wanting to give up the stock. 38% on deck. And nailed the air dodge right out of the mash, too, which is great, because in this game, it is so easy to get such garbage inputs out of mashing. Oh, yeah, you mash, and you're like, well, I got back air, bear, fair, yeah, uh, exactly. neutral B, and up B, but I didn't get air dodge. Oh, no, the best is I, I mashed, and then I air dodged off stage, and I <laughs> <laughs> You get out of the move that kills you and die anyway. <laughs> oh, and you burn your double jump, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the whole thing. Have a yard sale for you. Here's everything I push <laughs> all out of my lawn. <laughs> all right. Uh, bars, once again, now rotating almost a full stock lead. Oof. MGW showing his frustration. He is a very emotional player, but sometimes I feel gets the best of him. Oh, man. And that was so damn close. He just found the edge of that aside B. That was crazy. He ran away from it this time, too. He's more prepared for it, but he didn't run far enough. Yeah, those little, those little robo-rotors there weren't getting him out of the way. That's he for sure. Have, he doesn't have enough healies on, mm -hmm. on the bottom. That's what it was. You know, he had, to, he, had to, he had to tilt the back up and just start moving a little faster. All right. Now we have 43%. Oh, good tech from bars. That's a cross-up. Good Nair by MTW, and we have a throw. I never learned how to read. How to read. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is that? You, you know, <laughs> you're you, you, got, you gotta know that there's a dev somewhere that's just like, ah. <laughs> he, he, you know, you know, he just watches so every good. Smash <laughs> dream just to listen to that happen. Probably didn't even like Pit. He was like, yo, let me just get on Pit's team real quick. We're gonna do this right quick. <laughs> All right. Now we're only one full stock behind now, rather than two. He didn't add a KO. Oh, aggressive. MGW just a little earlier could have put this game so much closer. That table turn would have been so strong. Oh, that would have been momentum. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never learn how to read. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to keep it that way. <laughs> All right. Pushing his advantage. We now have Rob at 135. Pit oh, sent that legendary oh. percent. Oh. oh, that's a good down air. Sour hit. Doesn't <laughs> matter about what hit it is. It's just the neutral. All right, we're going to see a forward B. Oh, good grab this time. Oh, too many pummels, though. Oh, man. It's such a common thing in this game because oh, it's so... Oh, there's oh, man. the forward B, and Bars takes it. That was a 2-1 MGW. Honestly, I feel like... I mean, primarily he died to forward Bs, but he also got... Caught, like, he got caught up a lot. What's up? I think you're up. Oh. You're getting on that stream real quick. Oh, okay. Right. I mean, I'll do that. I'll try there to play video go. games. There you go. Bye, guys. Throw it down for us. All right. So it looks like we're going to see the uh, losers is going to continue. We're going to continue on the losers' quarters. So it's going to be Stretch versus John. Uh, Venia has to fight Bars. Yellow. Should be a good one. And winners' finals will be Jewel versus Mr. E. You guys will see that uh, in just a bit. A couple matches down the line. This is definitely not uh, If you're used to watching Gauntlet, you're not probably not used to seeing Venia in loser side anything. But here we are. Yes. <laughs> Upset city. I mean, New York, full of sharks. Yeah, it's can't it. stay king forever. I no got my, I got a, I got a stern reminder of that tonight. So it was uh, it was an interesting trip. So much to learn. But yes, there is no better phrase than a bunch of sharks. Mm -hmm. I myself am out of brackets, so I'll be holding down the stream for the rest of the night. Actually did better than I thought I would tonight. I actually went three and two. Oh, very nice. There you go. Yep. Putting you to stern Good seven. Stuff. Is that? Hey, what? I think that's. No. 
just asking for a verification on things. Uh, yeah, they're just wondering if what side they sit on matters, but it doesn't matter for us on the production side. I just adjust based on whatever port they choose to play in. There we go. Okay, so if you're just joining us, this is Losers Quarters, I think? Yes, Losers Quarters, that's correct. We have Stretch versus John Numbers, Lucina versus The Inkling. And a matchup we saw plenty of at Collision this past weekend. These characters definitely leading the charge in what this meta is shaping up to be. Mm -hmm. If I were a betting man, I'd probably say that Inkling might fall off before Lucina does, just because, like, she has... There's nothing wrong with her kit, if, if I'm being honest. Like, there's no glaring flaws, just... It's really up to the player. Mm -hmm. I say this for, like, Wolf a lot as well, but... Wolf has his own issues. Yeah. But I agree entirely. I think it's also a lack of representation. I mm. think that's the biggest problem with Cosmos leading the charge and the only prominent person using Inkling. There, there's definitely a lackluster amount of Inkling content overall that's not pushing what people are seeing when it comes to Lucina, Palu, Wolf, for instance. It's just Inkling is already starting to look a lack of representation, but the character itself is not slacking in any way, shape, or form. Super get you so right far. Number is so very fond of that jab. It's such a great jab, nonetheless, too. Really ridiculous tool. Just like that up there. Yep. Stupidly strong. Stronger than it appears. There's a few moves like that like in this game. Oh, and that was a really nifty option. That was splatter that he went shot into for. rapid jab. Which is great, too, because I'd imagine that breaks up the 11 hits on shield, making it much harder to roll out of, nonetheless, exactly. too. So that's a that's a very nifty option there. Yeah, numbers, uh, he studies. He takes his notes. He tends to write books. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> About face, not doing it. Shock. Yeah. Uh-oh. I was gonna say you get that full scoop angle right there too. I thought he was just gonna that. I thought he was gonna do that. Wow! To punch self like and that. slash, but there you go. Yeah, Inkling being one of the characters of recovery that's nigh uncontestable. Like there are things you can do, but it's very different. Wow! That was near two into up tilt. Yeah. That was that was incredibly clean. That here, was here, really I thought nice. that was, here I thought that wasn't a thing anymore. <sighs> Shows what I know. Yeah, right, exactly. And I touch point on uh, what you were saying about Inkling's recovery. Despite some people being able to get it earlier on, I think the actual hurt box only appears right towards the end of it, like right as that two frame window is coming up. So it's incredibly difficult to get at that move. What's well, worse if you try and if you like try and beat it out off stage, you just oh, get splashed away. And depending on who you are, that could be a death sentence. Say so, so you can, but oh, all right. Wow, and there have been so many good uses of that launcher hit tonight. You know, it's really got quite a bit of room on it. Actually, I think it's bigger than Lucina's own up smash yeah. with uh, the pulling. Uh oh. And just right there, as I was saying before, it looks like right at that tail end, there is a moment to hit Inkling, but even so, with the window that was exposed, Stretch did not have a good enough hitbox to close out that stock. Smack! F smash for F smash, brush. right? I like your sword, but I have a paintbrush. It reaches farther. That is terrifying. Ain't it? it, it, it that applies ink, don't it? It does. Yeah, that's, that's all uh, the uh, smashes do. I specifically always remember that one, too, because it's like you get the whole animation and everything, too. Like, not only did you just get covered in paint, but it's all over the place. One Which is funny, because, like, I actually just started uh, playing Splatoon 2. Like, the, um... <laughs> right now, Nintendo has, like, this uh, free... This week-long demo, it just started today, and, like, even if you don't have Nintendo Switch Online, they'll give you a code just so you can play the game. Oh, okay. That's pretty hype. It's a lot of fun. Like, the paintbrush in, in its own game is actually much faster. He just, like, keeps swinging yeah. <laughs> rapidly. <laughs> oh, this man knows. <laughs> He's 
called it out. He's like, it was also the weakest move in the game. Spooky, did you see that John level numbers. of slant eye from John Numbers right <laughs> there? Dude, dude, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't ever mess with like, John Numbers. I would numbers check my whole soul okay. and make sure that I have all my fragments left because that's John, slant eye. If John eye. Numbers ever tells you something is right, then yeah. he's right. Okay, not don't ever time, question not John ten numbers. times, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm basic. I just go. With I'm three. waiting for him to turn around and be like nine point nine. All right, like, <laughs> he's got a point one margin of error. So this man is crazy. Okay, so Stretch busting out the Fox instead. Okay. Now this is a very mm -hmm. interesting matchup. Mm -hmm. Meta Crystal. I love this track. They have so many good songs in this game nowadays. It is just absolutely wonderful. Bring it to, actually, bring it to FD. I'm surprised. Yeah, especially for the the Fox changeover, nonetheless, too. Like, you know, I, I definitely would... Careful. Okay. Yeah, that was going to need some caution tape real soon. He's fishing for nares, but he's not getting any. Hanging out on an empty tank, nonetheless, too. Ooh. This is pretty crazy. Yeah, that's definitely a thing, like... If your character is fast enough and, like, if you can apply pressure when Inkling has no ink to speak of, then that's what you do. Yep. And you take every advantage of that, too, because once that ink is back, you're not even going to know what it's like to see Ooh. it get charged again. Back are also deceptively strong. John Numbers coming down with the, the Hammer of God on that one. And becoming such an interesting point of counterplay, parrying and when to actually take advantage of it. You know, you get rando parries and it's like, mm, leave that. People are only just now beginning to parry. We're on the regular anyway. Yeah, this is very true. Before it was just like, before we knew you could roll between like the 11th hit on the multi jabs, you just like, you get your shield pushed out and then just parry the last few hits yep. and hope you could punish. Stretch uh, not looking so hot, though. Not at all. And great job by John Numbers there. No free recoveries. You see Fox up being your character like Inkling. You slam dunk that home every day. And with those Inkling brand Tims. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure there's an equivalent in the game. I just haven't unlocked it yet. <laughs> I mean, that's their whole thing. They got to stay fresh. Got to lace them up, man. Oh, open it up with a real nice string right here. Damage, and... Uh -oh. oh, good mash. I think he thought he was going to go the other way. Yeah. Tried to make that instant read. And unfortunately, now the Nair's coming a little too predictable. Uh-oh. Definitely. Wow. Very nice. And I was about to sit there and give uh, Stretch a bit of a hard time saying going off stage is Fox. Wow, that's definitely a bold maneuver, but it looked like just that, that slight moment of being off stage managed to get John Numbers to <laughs> miss space. Where are you going? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. We got Numbers going clear over the edge here. Is Fox fair? Is that is fair footstool still a thing? Because I can't imagine any other reason he would go for that. Yeah, I, I definitely have seen it a couple times, but I don't think it's nearly as guaranteed. Great angle by Stretch there to stay around that back air because that was getting real ugly. Definitely would have been an untackable situation there. And while the percents are looking really out of whack right now, Fox only in a, a nair and an up tilt away from getting that up smash range. Yeah. Fox, another character with very strong comeback factor. That's why I love this matchup between these two. That being said, though, unfortunately, he's gonna hit a, gonna eat a nozzle in the back of the head. Yes, sir. The set goes to John Numbers in extravagant fashion. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get a time check real quick. Oh, it is 10:24. Yep, All right, actually bubble. making. Yeah, I was gonna say if I want to keep my head on, I think I'm gonna be making my way home. I'm already OD late to go. But guys, All right, pleasure I'm, sorry. You. I'm sorry I can't stick around longer, but seriously, thank you very much for the warm welcomes and these Thanks, awesome Kuchel. opportunities. Follow this, Appreciate man. You, brother. 
Oh, over. please. If we can get me two seconds of uh, plug time. You can follow me at Twitter. That's C double zero N T A I L. I'm also on YouTube, available at Coontail S S B N Y. And you can also follow me on Twitch at Coontail underscore. If you like Bowser Jr. and some other wacky characters, you got Ice Climbers in the Wheelhouse, Piranha Plant, Duck Hunt Dog, you name it. I got all, all sorts of weird wacko those. picks. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Piranha Plant came out and literally two thirds of Twitter was like, that's a Coontail character. I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. So This man's already got my follow. Yeah. Plant Gang Strong. Got one more today. Appreciate you, brother. I greatly appreciate it, guys. I was very happy to be here, and I will be back soon enough. Thank you so much for having nice me. Nice to see you. It's, remember, it's every Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, I, I will be here. Don't you doubt I will. I will be here, that is for sure. Ninth place, decent start. Decent start, but we're coming back to we're look better. We're getting there, we're getting there. Exactly. All right, guys, so we're going to jump into this next match. Thank you to Kuntail for joining us. It's going to be Venya, loser side. DA versus Venya. Bars, bars the Journey. That's right. Should be an interesting one. Bars the Journey. This is going to be a Greninja Mirror, I believe. No, actually, uh, sorry, I lied. I lied. Bars is the uh, pit player. Probably the... In my knowledge, probably the only representation of this character in Tri-State. That's right. And a uh, pretty gosh darn good one at that. This will be the loser's quarter. Uh, Venny, a winner of this event. I want to say three in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Five, uh, six, and seven. Yes. I think, the, I think the only one he didn't win was the one he didn't, like, he wasn't present for, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is losers. Um, That's right. Venny, uh... Lost to, uh, to you. good old Jewel, That's a right. Robin. Jewel was looking we'll very strong. We're gonna have Jewel versus Mr. E. That will be the winner's final. Right. Uh, also, still remaining in the tournament is John Numbers. So the four, uh, the five remaining players, Venia and Bars, John Numbers winning loser semis, Jewel and Mr. E winning winners finals. Uh oh. This looks like it's pretty tough uh, as a pit player, and I just see Bars basically do the exact same matchup not long ago up against Professor MGW, but that being said. Ooh, nice. See, that's the thing, right? Like, Pit is, like, similar to Smash 4, Pit is probably the most honest character in this game. Like, he doesn't have a lot of crazy, you know, like, BS to him or anything like sure. that. It's like, mostly what you see is what you get. You just have to uh, play by the numbers. All right, stock for stock. Man, does this, this, I really love how Venya uses the speed of Greninja. Typically fast, fa fast characters tend to be strong just because of stage manipulation. Like, you think his combo string is over. Oh, no. no he's got he's, extensions, he's and then extensions quick, for those God. extensions. And then when you're off stage, he can get to you quickly for follow-up attacks as well. Nice that DI. That almost killed. Yeah. Yikes. Mm -hmm. DI kept them in the game. Ooh, please watch out for those hydro pumps, my guy. You will be in trouble. Upper dash arm not caring about that. Lay up B? Yep, we got it. Yeah, Bars has been making great use of the orbiters for uh, coming back to stage so that nothing can, like, knock him off to his doom. A string. Oh, wow. Man, amazing movement by Venya. How did he avoid all of that? Oh, that was nice. Nice by Bars. This is doable. Clean. Oh, he tried to chase it, but Venya. Wow. He's, he tried to end this man's life. Yo, they're both so fast. A B. Oh, he, oh, he clipped it. I, was that unteckable? I actually missed that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he bounced off the wall. I was forced to be unteckable. Uh, I'm not sure. It happened there, really there's quickly. There's a there's a tell in this game that thank God they this wasn't in for. In this game, if something is truly unteckable, there'd be like a red splash against the uh, at the point of contact. Okay. I just wasn't actually that looking at it. That happened so fast that I don't know if it was unteckable or if he just missed the opportunity to wall tech there. Oh, he waited Caught for him. him. It's like, you're not safe yet. Nope. You should have just went below ledge. Alright. So Venya takes the first one, but that was that was close. Let's see what Bars is gonna choose for his counter pick here. But indeed. Alright. 
same characters. Running it back. That's all well and dandy. More platform. Man, did you see how Venia moved away immediately as soon as that was shielded? Just so that if Bars tried to shield, uh, punish out of shield, he You can't keep this frog standing still in one place. No, no, it, just, it just won't happen. And even if you expect him to be there, he's just really not. That's part of what makes Venia so strong. Yeah, Orbiters just can't be messed with from any direction, it seems like. Nope. He was forced to he was forced to chase the up B after the fact. That was all he could do. Okay. Good patience. Off stage. Oh, Ooh, I don't think he wanted that. Alright. Timing was a wee bit off on that. Mm-hmm. So much, so much damage from those. Nice combo. All right, Bart's making it back. And oh. Caught him jumping back to the ledge. A lot of rage built up for bars here. Those orbiters are getting tiny. Oh, goodness. Yeah, they have to recharge at some point. <laughs> He's shielding so much. He's like, oh, God, please don't touch me. Nice throw. Oh! Con jumping back. Cover. Thing is, his percent was too high. He couldn't... Yeah. He could only hang on for like a second before he was forced to get, uh, pick an option. He's chopping away at those shields. Combo, he dodged. Damn, Vendi is fast, my goodness. Not giving this man room to breathe. All right, finally, we get some damage. Wow. wow, that was nuts. That almost killed. By God. Oh, but he didn't oh, make it back. Oh, he missed. He got a little, a little fancy there off stage, and now Bars has a chance. Good shield. Dude, my man is everywhere. He's he, one second he's in the middle of the platform, the next second he's attacking you back at the edge again. Can't tell where he is. Nice. No, finally he got that. He's been aiming for that a lot. Wow, scooped wow, him that was off the Smash Roll platform. Sick. That's a first. That whole sequence was got like five bars. Oh, but it's but not going to matter. He took a trade that he unfortunately did not need to. The set goes to Venia with a commanding 2-0. Really well played by Venia there. Bars definitely was pulling out some of the tricks and the tactics, but Venia unfazed. All right. Thank you, Evan Gamble, Ashton, everybody else who's been watching tonight. I hope that you guys have been having a good time. We're going to continue on now. I believe we're going to go into the winner's finals. I mean, Mr. E versus Jewel. But before that, what's the Maturino Let's looking like? Let's take a look, brother. Let's take a look. So, Maturino, so far tonight, we are at $28.50. We do still okay. have some of those free codes available. Please help us out if you can, guys. I'll put all the info for you in the chat. That, that so thanks, is good, but yeah. I think we can do better. I See think we if can we do can, a little uh, more if you guys can help us out. We do appreciate it. Thank you, Tenor Clubs, by the way, for trying to be so helpful in the chat. I appreciate you. Oops, had to reset the console by accident. Good evening, ladies. It's okay, no big deal. It happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> All right, let's reset it on our end. And now holding down the fort with me is... Marshall. I am your TO, your host, and I will be doing commentary for the rest of the night. What's up, Marshall? Welcome back. Hey, what's up, guys? How's everyone doing? You, you still in it? Oh, no, never mind. We're already in top three. That's right. I forgot. Yes. We are in top four. Top we four. We are witnessing winner's finals. We have a really good... Uh, a different one? Yes, a very different one. Not a, a DA finals like Th we had the previous two times. No. We no. have uh, Jewel, the man who upset uh, Venia. You know, he... he uh, the played. mad man. Yeah. The mad lad. I'm not entirely surprised because Jewel is definitely one of the most notable Robins in the world, in my opinion, who 
be showed up towards, yeah, only uh, the final, towards the final year yeah. of uh, Smash 4. Thank yeah, you, Steamboat Willy, by the way, for subscribing. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank you Enjoy the match, picture. guys. All right, so right now we have Lucina versus Robin. And now right now I can see this is actually a very... Uh, is it Switch? Uh, switch names. Oh, yep. Thank oh, yeah, you. it's reverse. Don't be afraid to tell me, Sonic yeah. Fiend. Just be like, hey, Switch names, Spooky. Yeah. Make it right. Hey. All right, right now I can tell that this is a very... Uh, so it's we a have a neutral matchup. Oh, it's again. We have a Fire Emblem Awakening team kill here. Yes. Uh, so Robin, obviously very good at uh, keeping people out. And Lucy, you know, really good when she gets in. So it's very. Uh, it's it's going to be a test heavy. of wills. It'll be very neutral heavy, you know. Like it's about uh, how they adapt to each other's approach options and walling, uh, you know, walling capabilities. Right now, I'm really liking the uh, the patience that uh, Jewel has established from the beginning. Yo, that yeah, see he's that really movement? good at that. He's he, he was that was always one of his uh, oh. most impressive feats was he would uh, he had really good movement and he would really and he would uh, utilize uh, charge to the best of his abilities with wave bounces and uh, B reverses and he would even catch the book and the Eleven Sword. Oh. Nice effort. We catch Book or Eleven Sword, uh, you know, when he would use it. He was very good at keeping track of it, as, you know, very uh, uh, high level Robin play will have you do, you know? Yeah, Thunder and Elf Thunder are so good in this game, though. Yeah. Like, uh, before, like, in Smash 4, it was mo mostly just, like, Arc Thunder into yeah. Checkmate. That was a nice uh, ledge trap setup. <laughs> Numbers. Diet Chakram, apparently. Oh, caught him re-grabbing. Just barely missing. Okay, that's fine. Just breaking up the tension. Yeah. Oh my. Good command grab. Scoop. Okay. That's actually one of the most impressive things about Robin is that uh, between Smash 4 and Ultimate, uh, the up B was significantly buffed. The, like, right. the range at which it... Ooh, wait, Are what? you kidding me? Are you serious? Okay, Elwind. He teched the, the Dolphin Slash. He teched and then, teched and then killed him. Reversaled with, with the Elwind. And Krom just gonna join in on the victory pose. Styling on his daughter. You hate to see it happen. Krom gets, a gets to beat himself up in this game. Damn, man. He's in the cutscene anyways. So, uh, fun fun fact about Robin, actually, in this game, at least, in, at least I know it's thing, it's a tip in this game, I don't know if it was in Smash 4, but like, obviously, as we all know, Robin, most of his tools, like, are on set charges, so like, if the 11 Sword runs out, he has to ditch it and things like that. Right. They're limited in this use game, I believe if you, with the regular Bronze Sword, if you just like, Spam short hop aerials and smash attacks with it actually recharges your tomes a lot faster. Oh, does it? I didn't know that. Like, uh, like the normal charge is 10 seconds. You just keep spamming, goes down to at least seven, I think. Right. Which is, you know, which is significant. Good to know. Three, two, okay. So we got game two on Smash. Go. Uh, this was the previous stage, right? Uh, yes. Okay. I can say that with confidence because Town is not a starter anymore. Thank God. Oh, yeah, that's right. Town is no longer a starter. We have about ten stages, and we have, have about three that go unused. Uh oh. Hey, I like the option coverage. He's really good at that. You know, that's uh, where Robin. Volcanon into, into eleven up smash. My God. Yeah. So he just can't get in. Someone stop this man. Oh my God. That was about to be some grime. <clears throat> oh, Very nice. See, and the, oh, that killed him. It nicked him, and it, it it messed with his recovery. That's hysterical. No, it's like I said. Someone yeah. clipped that too. That is. No, it's not hysterical. It's calculated. It's like I said. Yeah, you're right. You're Robin right. Robin is very like uh, Jewel is very good at uh, Robin's item play. You know when he he keeps a very close eye on uh, what his tomes. Yo, check. Can what I get a clip of that, please? Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> This man did not come to mess around. 
Where was he when the Matrino pot was bigger than this? Good lord. Jewel is out for blood tonight. He wants that uh, first place victory. And it really Damn, shows. the freaking thunder! The hover to. I, I can't. Bro, I've seen this all the time. Like, yeah, I saw it in Smash 4. This is for them seeing it in this game, and it's like, ooh, yay, yay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get the weak hit of Dolphin Slash. Can we do the impossible and get a three stun? Oh, okay. So, Sour Spot downer just sent. Why do I say things? Over. Observational Jinx just ruins it. I like the frame trap with that uh, back here. Mm hmm. Mr. E is, uh, he's not out of it, but he definitely can, uh, catch on to what, uh, you know, uh, Jules' approach, off approach options have been, uh, fairly limited for the most part, and that's because he's, uh, resisting the urge to approach, and the pop-off. Wonderful from Jules. Yeah. That was actually Thundercats. The set goes to Jules. Right, I have to drag it out because uh, look, look at all those hey, U's. Jewel is so many Jewel. U's. <laughs> Jewel, you can't even see the L. <laughs> so Jewel will advance. He'll be heading to the grand final. He is final. the winner's side of grand. Yes. That's right. And on the loser's side, later. we're going to have loser's semis coming up immediately. House of 3000, Steve Letters up against Delhi Alliance's Venia. <laughs> Nobody reacted is, to that. Is, is that <laughs> HO3K David Integers I see? <laughs> Mike Vowles. <laughs> Lose the semi-final coming up. Enjoy, everybody. Please check out the match arena. Uh, we appreciate all the help that you guys give us. We're at twenty-eight dollars and fifty cents still tonight. Uh, there are still some free codes left, I believe. Gauntlet eight is the code yes. for this week, and also you Please can donate, donate directly. Please help us out. We appreciate, of course, all the donations. Yes, you, oh, we just got another one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody was ready. Look at that. Thank you. Hey, if you want to give this man more money for Please. his uh, great tactical prowess, then uh, do it. Yep. Why are you pointing at? Oh. He's over there. Oh, well, some of my men didn't feel who was. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lucia Semis, we have a Nebulous slash Xeno staple in Venia versus John Numbers. I'm Only getting, uh, one of them. 26 is Whiplash. Alright, so I'm not sure uh, how often Benny and John Numbers have actually played uh, in this game. I know they played a couple times, and uh, for the most part, it's a. Uh, like, as a character, Inkling is very. Uh, it's a very uh, odd, odd type of rushdown character, because their options stem from, you know, getting things like roller, conditioning, shoot, conditioning, you know, uh, certain tech chases to get, to get roller. That was a nice tech. Mm -hmm. I would have I died. That was wow. the most clutch spot dodge I've ever seen, because sure enough, he was dead otherwise. So as you know, uh, in uh, inking opponents uh, as inkling uh, causes them to receive more damage uh, from attacks. And that creates uh -oh. an interesting dynamic for a character like that, because it's about, you know, oh, he's dead. RIP. Creates an interesting dynamic. And as of as of this patch, the the berry effect is actually stronger at higher percents. So oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, like that was the thing. Like everyone's saying, oh, Inkling Roller got nerfed at lower percents. Yeah, she can't get much off of it. But if you're around 90, you're pretty much dead. Fair, fair. Uh, same, that was a really same good for. Uh, uh, I didn't. I missed it, but it was a really good reaction from Benny to see that uh, upon the missed tech, you know, he tech inward, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Assumed that John would uh, tech away and then react to tech in on the platform and got the up smash for the kill. It's re grab. Oh, oh but that was a. Uh, that could have been a slightly. Well, I think he. he I think he wanted the spike, but right. Didn't but quite I guess it get it. Confident that you have to get on like the first uh, few active frames, I believe. Similar to Sonic, actually. Yes. He's weaving back, but Venia is Inkling. really, really consistent at going deep on his opponents, and he might be dead. The blaster. Venia is very consistent when it comes to uh, edge guards. <gasps> uh, no, he's fine. It's that boy. That's what dangerous the game. like now. You know?
So I know uh, Numbers has lamented about the character. Very oh, nice. That was such a good punish from Venia. Because he might have thought that uh, a down, I would have thought that a down smash or up smash would have uh, killed, would have done the job. Mm -hmm. But I forgot that Inkling has the landing hitbox, and it would have interrupted the, the the smash attack, and he would have gotten punished for it. So you get with something better. Yes, which guarantees a kill at that. Now can numbers get back on stage? Let's see. Yes. All right, he's got good damage now. Ready to uh, go in on him. Despite the uh, I like the patience that numbers is uh, displaying upon having his upon having uh, pressure applied to his shield. He's not too hesitant to like shield grab, as I say that. Uh, he's not too hesitant to shield grab or try to like assume that mm -hmm. Benny is going to go for a specific option off of uh, you know hitting his shield. So he's being very patient about it. Speaking of options, that was an ill-advised one. Yeah, holding roller all the way to ledge. Game one going to Venia. I don't. I don't know if that was intentional to hold it that long. Just seems like a wild choice. If so. Get right back into it. So as a reminder, this is actually for a uh, fourth place, John uh, Numbers. That's right. Like wh whoever loses this doesn't get a piece of the pot. Yep. Wow! Just threw it point was, blank in his face. God really damn! And he's racked up in in. 20 seconds, he's racked up 139 damage. I tell you, uh, Inkling's damage he's output dead. is insane, and that's a kill. There was nothing you could have done about that. Cool. <laughs> Chats in disbelief, I would be too. I told you, man, uh, Inkling's damage output, that was good advice. Inkling's damage output is uh, pretty insane, and that's what makes him a very uh, niche type of aggressive rushdown type character. Because it's about conditioning people, uh, having you know uh, setups, and then using uh, your best possible you know uh, combos. But he's not taking uh, too much time and make sure to return the favor. This isn't undoable for Venia at this, uh... No, of course not. Oh! He ran out of ink. ink. Now, uh, John Numbers is in a really bad situation. He's at the ledge, and... Oh, Rip. He missed his nair. He tried to catch the, uh, the one frame that, uh, from regular get-up, that you are able to punish people. Splatter shot off of life is actually a really good, uh, get-up option. Yes. Because it locks shields, and it is, uh... Unchallengeable. Not not totally unchallengeable. Like there are some moves that there can... are some moves, yes. But for the most part, anything that isn't uh, right, know, like a projectile, a very uh, like a transcendent projectile, uh, will most likely not go through the uh, spider shot. And I hit it, just pushes people away. Like, when, if when? I'm not mistaken, uh, sh uh, spider shot will consume uh, sh shurikens completely. Maybe not fully charged ones, but anything lesser, probably. Yeah. So Venia not in the worst position, uh, he's, he can make up this damage fairly easily. So I can rough him at first, but he's poised to bring this back. Yeah. Uh oh, was God cut on the platform. Oh, he had the uh, he definitely had the right idea. He just barely missed the timing. I think if it did a little. If it hit, it was gonna kill, of course. Yeah. But, you know, it was. Uh, it was uh, 
Benny likes to take risks, and I, I can respect that as a player. <laughs> okay, good. Just yeah, roll in. Tekken. The roll in. Oh, all man, these all bad these for numbers. Air dodges. Oh, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Yes, it could could, could have been grounded, and then that would have definitely that would for sure been a kill. Yeah. That would have been the start of game three. Oh, like so. Oh my God. He he he, you know, he believed that he was gonna go for something like you know uh, you know short hop bear on the fully spaced on the shield, and so he dropped you know to he dropped the shield to potentially either move away from it, jump, punish, mm -hmm. or parry. You know, best case scenario. And he got he made you know that decision and got called. I think off. he did try to parry though. Yes, it definitely seemed like he was trying to parry because John number spaced it in a way that uh, bear would have been completely safe. Game three, still playing on Stadium Two. It's not really much I can say regarding like who should do what better and or like who should change their playstyle or how should they adapt and whatnot. It's Both these players are very capable. Uh, it's just who's gonna you know who's gonna make the right call. I'd say it's mostly like uh, how well is John able to push his combo game and advantage state, you know, because Inkling does not have the easiest time getting in. Very uh, susceptible to certain zoning and spacing tools, you know. But uh, w when, uh, in but you know, like as I said, the inkling damage output definitely makes up for it, you know. Oh, that was a chase him all the with the back air, and that was really good. I don't know why he dropped the splat bomb. There was, I guess he uh, he was trying to. He believed that Benny was trying to go for a double jump uh, forward air to cover the option. Maybe. That's my best assumption. Oh, that's what he wanted last game. Good read. The uh, ink brush actually like one of those forward smashes where where like she steps back and then like lunges forward. Right. It's very good it's for kinda, like very good for like evading. I find it kind of funny how uh, some of the Inklings' uh, tilts are actually, are actually just uh, some characters' smash attacks. A little bit, yeah. Like down tilt is a is a like down tilt is definitely like a Mario down smash. Yeah, breakdance kick. Speaking yes. of, oh my God, Numbers has made up this damage really well. Oh, he had the read. Everyone's neutral air dodge is the same, right? Like, uh, no, of course not. Is it not? Really? No, why would it? I was going to say, because Inkling feels a lot longer than most characters. I might be wrong. So, you know, like, everyone got universal jump squat. As well as a spot dodge, so... Who knows? What I do know is that... Benny has to be... Oh. Okay. But I was just about to say, Benny has to uh, bring him back soon, so he's not at too bad a deficit going into this last stock, this last game of this set. What does chat think? What water creature is going to take it this time? You know, Inkling dissolves in water. <gasps> He has jump, right? Yes, of course. All right. So, uh, very quickly, oh, wow. numbers has uh, reached 100 plus, and this is very dangerous because most of uh, Greninja's uh, kill confirms are prime. Oh! oh. My God. I don't know if he wanted. Aerial drift is way too good. He's a uh, he had the right idea, it was good coverage, but I don't think it was enough. I think numbers should relax, charge, uh, some ink, and see what he can do. He has to be so careful. He's very, very he's, uh, Might as well not even be touching the ground. I mean, he hops all over the place anyway. But you know, now more than ever, uh, uh, right in the back. Right in the ink tank. The set goes to Venia. Damn, that was loud. 
last stock. Back yeah, close. that was some uh, very crazy last. last That's stock. what we call clutch. Yes. All right, guys. Sorry if I sound like a broken record, but I really want to harp on this, guys. Please, please help us out please if you can. To the Check out the Macharino. We do still have some of the free codes left. Gauntlet 8, you can also donate directly. No. You can check out some of the Twitter quests on the side. You can buy products directly in their store. No. No. <laughs> I don't know what next just time, has. boyo. Sorry, Numbers is sad that he has no monies. Oh, I'm sorry, John. Numbers, unfortunately. Unfortunately, you needed to make top three. Times today. have changed. Top three payout, my guy. <laughs> top three payout, my guy. You got to know better. All right. All right. Thank you again for contributing, everybody. We're going to jump into this next match. It's going to be a loser's final. Should be a good one. So these players also know Stranger are fighting each other a lot. We I have D.A. Venia versus Mr. E. Mr. E Hart uh, hailing all the way from Long Island. By himself, made the trek out for this event. Much more, especially at this hour. My yes. Goodness. Yeah. God bless. Venia port one, Mr. E port two. Yep. If any of makes it, uh, as the chat points out, we will have another dead ass grand finals. Wait, no, dead ass finals is both players. Oh, are they had to both be DA. Oh, okay, bye yeah, bye. You're right. Jewel's not DA. Oops. Yeah, not gonna not happen. DA. What? I mean, if, if, they want, if they want us to pick him up, I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's sponsor Jewel. Oh my goodness! Wow, he lived. All right. Uh, he would like to... Spike in the movement. Right off the bat, you can tell that uh, Mr. E is really good at, at anti-airing... Uh, what is it? Anti-airing uh, Greninja's uh, semi-limited approach option. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, up tilt. Up tilt, okay. Up tilt, uh, cause I he blinked, did dash attack and it crossed up the shield and, you know. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I no. blinked and I missed. Oh! That was such an unfortunate angle. See, people actually use that as, like, a reason to vote PS1 over PS2, cause that, that definitely does not happen on that stage. Uh, I don't see, I don't see it. I, mean, I think they're interchangeable personally, but, you know, we've... I think at this point everyone's gotten pineapple at least once, especially like at this, at this point in like the tournament, you don't, you don't want that to happen ever. Right. This is a uh, not the best time for any you know stage mishaps or you know, crazy shenanigans, you know. And yeah, we haven't banned Lila, but it's okay. Wow, miss. Oh, About no face jump. being uh, so jump. much stronger in this game, my god. Chase him with the up air, lands at its mark, and Mystery making a frog legs of any of game one. Let's see if maybe, hopefully, Get a revival in game two. I'm with it. Let's see Venia's game face on. Venia is definitely a, you know, he made it all the way through. He lost in the winter semis, and now he's, he's uh, on the verge of making it back to Grands, you know. Wants to hold on to his title, no matter the cost. No matter what, uh, Venia seems to be very consistent about his placings and the way that he is able to adapt even in the worst situations, you know. Get the uh, the uh, mistech that right. he wanted. That yeah, the mistech is definitely uh, teching. Uh, you know, a drag down up there is one of the most important things to do versus Greninja because the punishes can be very deadly, especially uh, past 80. And that said, you know, 
It's looking much better than game one. Golly! And this is a reverse. This is uh, a lot better than uh, game one. Sorry. You know. No, uh, Jank here. Vinny about to lap. <gasps> oh, oh man, he, I think he was looking for a trade to potentially, you know, to get his uh, uh, standard uh, dare into back or shadow sneak, you know, uh, edge guard. Well, now we know. Dolphin slash just beats it clean out. He must. I assume that he must have got the just past the uh, the invincibility of the up uh, up beat. Mm -mm -mm. Now. Uh, I want you to notice that uh, Mr. E is uh, utilizing a lot more up air to cross up on shields. That's because up air has gotten reduced, uh, doesn't really uh, have, has pretty good uh, landing lag for what it's worth. Right. It's really good for crossing up shields like that, you know, it, it's spaced, if it's spaced well enough, you know, the shield grab won't reach for most characters. And I think that's very important in this matchup because, you know, I'm running uh, after... Carry the up. Hydro Pump. All right. I see you, Mr. E. There it is again. I think he might have wanted to a ledge trump in here. There. Damn, sent him all the way across the stadium. That almost looked like he wouldn't have killed. Almost, but it's like, yep. nah. And just like that, he evens it up. Returns the favor. Potentially, uh, last this is Vinny's tournament, is tournament stock. Yes. If he can bring this back, that's terrific. But, you know, he's really got to uh, catch on to what Mr. E's been doing in terms of... It's the, certainly not impossible for a player of his caliber. Of course, he just has to mind his P's and Q's and where he lands. Yes. As it stands right now, uh, it's fairly even, and uh, Mr. <gasps> Mr. E could have uh, gotten something a lot better, but uh, he definitely was trying to see if Benny would snap to ledge. There's a bold call out, and a little risk. It didn't work this time. Yes. For the most part, it's about the risk versus the reward. Both players and effectively a kill percent. Oh, that was a good forward air call out. Hit him with that swift water kunai. Sliced. The HMO one is going to bring us to game three. This is a very intense set from between these two players. What do you think, folks? Can Benny you bring it back it? from the brink? Unclog the frog. <laughs> Unclog the frog. <laughs> Unload that toad. Uninhibit the ribbit. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Match number three, losers finals. Thank you, Spooky. Good luck to both players. You're gonna spam those chants. You do it right now. Frog game. There's one for Amphibian too, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Deliver the King of River. That, that's a good one. You got it. Now, I'm very surprised as to what Benny is traditionally. I know he's not much of a band type person, but I wonder if he actually shoots band versus, uh, you know, certain God characters. Like this, you know. He's oh, gone. No. Oh, I thought he was going to push him off again. No, he said, mm mm. I got this HMO1 not going clean games. through your torso. He's not playing any games now. You and your Tharja cream of colors. God damn. Mind you, this was Mr. E's counterpick for stage. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, don't look like it's working that well. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, traditionally, you know, Lucina and Barely over a minute very, in. Uh, sorties are very uh, favorable with platforms. Mm -hmm. But I assume that Venia must have a personal, like, uh, liking to this stage from what oh, I Oh, of course, because... Oh, this is bad. He has no jump. Okay. 
fourth throw. Or down throw. I think a fourth throw at ledge should kill right about now. This is a very bad position for Mr. Because he's at 170, he's on the verge of exploding, and Vinny still has all three stocks. You see that double parry? That's a novel Again. one. Oh, I, I, I'm surprised he didn't back throw there. That could have been a potential edge guard scenario, but I guess he's not confident in edge guarding uh, Venya too often. I guess he's more uh, favorable in uh, ledge trapping him, which I can understand. Right. Because, you know, as far as it goes, uh, you know, you need uh, something. Uh, you know, you know Fair's going to do it, but at 181%, uh, he bleating. He yes. is a bleating. He is very much bleating. Oh, man. Uh, not looking good for Mr. E. He's down a whole stock versus Venia. And Venia has been very dominant in this game, so you, know, you can assume that Venia has uh, kind of understood what Mr. E is trying to go for in neutral, as you can see. Well, it's time to resort to Dolphin Slash Combo Breakers. Oh, that was a good uh, S smash. He's been getting that. That was a good fall oh, up there to, uh, right to jump up there. Blink of and about and face here, almost. Killed. And this could be this could be uh, the turning point for the match. Mr. E could uh, very well take the stock right now and uh, even the game up really really well. I'm trying to steal all the momentum that Venia had yeah. right off from under his feet. Golly. Which is smart because Venia, Venia with momentum is one of the most deadly things you could have in uh, New York. No, well, obviously. All right, he just barely uh, missed space that, so. Good get up attack. Okay. Oh, jab lock, up smash, and like that, Mr. E is uh, very all close that to up -y. Dolphins. Oh, caught him air dodge. Caught his air dodge, and that is it. He so put the fear in him. Grands in Venia versus Jules. Very well played, indeed. Yeah, that matchup. Uh, those two go back and forth all the time. I think of Venia. Course, of course, of course. You know, even in Smash Four, uh, you know, they've had very. They have a uh, very. Do you much know what their? Do you know what their record was in? I believe towards four? the end that. Uh, I believe towards the end, uh, E was definitely a little more dominant over Venia. Because he kind of finally understood. But the uh, tables have turned. Right. Grand finals coming up, guys. Jewel versus uh, Jewel versus Venia. Excuse me. This is your last chance, guys. I'll contribute to the Matcherino. Thank you to everybody that's contributed tonight. Contribute to the Matcherino. <coughs> Please help us out if you can. Thirty-three bucks and change. Thirty-three fifty. Thank you to Rock Tager who gave ten bucks tonight. Thank you, hey, Reckless thank you, Weasel. Rob. Uh, the bad, the one bad kid, Black Dragon, and Ash Blaster. Thank, Thank you, everyone, you guys. for uh, giving money. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you for donating. It's really helpful towards the players. You know, who work very hard to make it to where they are. All right, grand finals coming up. We've got Jewel versus Jewel oh, versus female. Venia. Wow, he's going. Fem he went female, Robin, before didn't he? I don't, I've only seen male this whole day. Oh, really? I for think sure. he switched back and forth. I think. Mm, I could be wrong. But ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, this is Deadly Alliance Ultimate Gauntlet Volume 8. And we have here Venia and we have and a run back side. of uh, Winner's Semis. Jewel had taken it over, uh, over Venia in a very, uh, you know, clutch fashion. I like the idea there is that he wanted to uh, wanted to call Vinny out on his edge guard. Mm -hmm. you know, so he went for the back air and if it connected he would have been a very deadly stock for him. Wow, actually had the mindset to throw Elfire at the lens, or Arcfire rather. You know, I've heard Jules say that um with the kind of up B that Robin have has, they don't deserve a double jump. Why he's, he's personally said that. Why? <laughs> well jokingly, you know. because uh, the up B it, it that joint goes deep, bro. 
And we've got three consecutive up bears. I count four. Was that four? That was four. That was insane. What is this character? Uh, Shadow Snake? No. So right now it's uh, Tactical Smarts versus Acrobatics. Yes. Tactician versus uh, Ninjas. And like that, Benny has a 3 1 stock lead versus Jewel. Definitely seems like Gavania has gotten some. Uh, God, the way this is happening right. Oh my God! Oh, no, he's alive. He's fine. He's fine. I but saw. I think he wanted to spike that was though. A potential another jab off, which could have led to another thought. He threw something out there. Was that Arc Thunder or the Eleven Sword? Uh, I'm not sure. Forward throw. God, the way this is looking, you wouldn't think that Jules, the one who sent him, loses in the first place. Yeah. And Went very all the way here. in, three stocking this man, saying, no, this is my domain. <laughs> I'm keeping my streak. I'm getting my fifth gauntlet in a row. Please don't choose the terrible music. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Hmm, why not? No, target practice is the, a good one. It's the melee one at that. Yes. Quite enjoy it. Back to mail. Now remember, Venny needs to take uh, three more games. Joel needs a minimum of two. Yes. He parried the uh, forward tilt. Yeah. He just uh, did a standard jab to punish. But many on this, uh, many of punish games are very crazy. Quantum Jewel in the winner right now. God damn. I think he was looking for a uh, potential Elwyn spike. Right. Wow. And he just threw it out there. Why not? Check that one. That could have been bad. Oh my god, he had the read too. Text, very good. Good punish. I can't tell if the Nostratu was bait or not. Uh, no, he definitely uh, thought he definitely tried to do a short hop uh, Nostratu and it kind of sent him downward a little bit, so he just barely missed the shift with it. But he did the uh, best punish he could have anyways off of the Shadow Sword. Oh, yeah, there, there he is. Gets it. Try to a book at him? Or not. Oh, there it is. Oh, he, sh he went in deep for that one. Made sure, nope, I see where you're going, and you're not coming back. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't seen more items played from uh, Jules. You know, usually that's what I gave him praise for at the, at the beginning, you know? He's not getting the chance. Yeah, no, Venny is definitely getting, uh, uh, not letting him, uh, Set up these traps, you know, and that's uh, one of the most important things. Not that uh, Jewel, yeah, it's not that Jewel can't do item play. It's yes, just, he has to get his item. He's just that he not hasn't been them. able to like work around it yet, as far as I tell. Him. You know, like uh, as soon as he uh, loses the sword, then he just kind of, you know, abuses him. You know, he abuses that state where he's like, where he has to make a call on whether or not he wants to continue uh, trying to play neutral or opt out and retreat and get the item. And that was a good uh, platform. 11 ball. up air, catching and falling off platform, because platforms are so sticky in this game. I feel like it might as well be glued to them. Oh, 
I was half pressing a four. Oh, that'll do it. All right. In the, just like reset. That, Vinny, Vinny has reset the bracket, and he is poised with all this momentum. He's looking like he could take his fifth gauntlet in a row. It's building. Let's go Meta Crystal. Last chance to contribute to the Matrino, by the way, guys. Help us out if you can. Set yes, to a Grand Finals. Please, please and donate thank to the you. Please donate to the Matrino. Use code call it 8. And with this really reset, we now it. transition into what we like to call a a true, true finals. finals. All right, chat. Who do you think is gonna take it? Who's the favorite to win? Chop him, going all the way in. Oh, he's out of the book. And he's, okay, he's gonna get it back now. Oh, I feel like he might have wanted to run off back here. Yeah, if Robert runs out of L1, that's definitely when you wanna go in and hit him far enough to make sure he cannot come back. In case uh, anyone did not know, uh, Venny, when uh, Greninja does downer, his legs are actually intangible. So it is very difficult to challenge you with anything that isn't disjointed. With uh, what move? Uh, dare. Dare is the, the feet, the legs are uh, disjointed, so it's very difficult to challenge. Good to know. I speak from experience. I'm like, oh, and I'm 0 in 10 this, with this man. Isn't everybody? No. Arcfire ledge, yep. Into up smash. That's a you know standard setup. It's not as cool as looking as checkmate, but it gets the job done. Yep. To be fair, uh, I don't think Robin really needs checkmate. The neutral and you know, the neutral and zoning options are a lot were uh, significantly buff. You know. Right. So. Oh, that chase. That was beautiful. Great, Jules. Uh, trying to bring this back. It, that was an insane dare. Shocked he didn't make it back. Actually, was he? Did he already use his jump? Uh, no, I think he just has a, a huge amount of you know uh, hit stun, mm. so he wasn't able to uh, make it back to the Wrong way. But I might have done it if it connected. Elfner. We cannot say it again. I say it enough. Jules Robin movement. So goddamn clean. Very uh very pristine, you know. Uh oh. Very a, nice. Very, uh, same, very intentional that angle of the, of the you know. And he has done his geometry. He knows exactly where, what angle he needs to shoot off in order to inconvenience the opponent. Yes. He knows his, uh, you know, he knows that uh, water will reach where it won't. That's very, uh, that's very unique of Venia. You know, right. not many can say that they, uh, you know, use the, they use the the water in a very offensive option like that, offensive, uh, offensive way like that. You know. I barely missed the landing. He had enough time to get that, uh, that uh, dash grab. Uh-oh. 
Did he go too deep? Yes, he yes, did. Yes, he did. He was uh, very, uh, you know, he Benny has scared. shown time and time again that, you know, uh, he's very good at catching Jewel when he recovers low and when he can recover his high. Mm-hmm. Ninja having, I believe, one of this, uh, a top three uh, jump height in the game. Second only to Falco. Yes, that is true. Because Bird. Bird. I don't remember who third is, though. So they're playing the rest of this out on Battlefield. Now this is Jules tournament stock. That was extremely suspect. Yeah. I, was, I was about to say the same thing. Like, where is in the world is he? Oh, well. well. No DI is going to save him from that one. Drag down. Not going to quite pan out there. Jules is just trying to get, right now. Jules is just trying to get his uh drowns going. Never mind uh, taking stocks off this man. But it's just not letting it happen. That was a really. That was a, all right. That's something I need to talk about. Nair, no, Nair, not enough Nair. people. <laughs> yes, Nair planes. But uh. So, as you saw, uh, Jewel got a parry, and he did a reverse jab, uh, and not many people uh, use that, you know, when they reverse, uh, when they do something as simple as a reverse jab, because, it, is that it? He's and not going to make use of it here, because, champion. the set and the gauntlet, fifth tired. gauntlet in a row, fifth, wow, it is, fifth in a row going to King Venia. Three stock uh, that. Where's his mugshot at? We need, like something because this is not working someone get this man's bounty he needs to stop winning this stop this terror <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see let's see if he wants to have some words on the stream for you guys really quick thanks I'll everybody by the way for watching today. that'll be it I'll, for I'll the uh, tournament i've been sonic fiend you can follow me at sonic fiend smash you can follow Tell me at robbie underscore marshall on twitter i'm the to and host here i host other events around new york and i'm uh i'm kind of nice Kind of nice, is this man? I'm kind of nice. We got some kinda other nice. events that Get we can talk me. about too. Uh, make sure to check out the whole Team Delhi Alliance, of course. A uh, Team Delhi Alliance on all the socials. A uh, Team DA Smash on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can follow them on Twitch, yes. Facebook, Facebook. Uh, uh, sorry, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And also, happy birthday to Spooky. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed that cake. Yeah, thanks, bro. I'm gonna take the rest home with me and snack on it. Actually, I already ate like Thank half of it. Thank you for uh, helping us out here. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, there's some other stuff that we can talk about too. Let's see. If you enjoyed tonight's event, make sure to check out the homies Aeon. over. At, well, let's talk about them too. Uh, yes, Aeon in uh, Deer Park, Long Island. Uh, yep. You know, they can take the LIR if you're traveling from out of the region, like even someone like me. One day uh, I'll have a day off and I can make this. Yeah, it's tight. They also have tomorrow. Make sure to check them out. The center tomorrow. Go to the right. zero. Dude, man, hype. I wish I could go. Like, if I had to do battle strike, if there was no such thing as battle strike, I would probably go to this at least once a month. Maybe one day it'll get canceled. Yeah, Alas. or something. Who knows? Unfortunately, I, it's the one day that I'm always busy. But it's tight, man. If you're in the Smash and you're in New York, you need to go to the Zeno Week. Yes. Because this thing is ridiculous. Please uh, head over to Zeno. I sometimes help T.O. there, too. You want to you say anything to the stream before we go home, Venia? I want to thank all my fans. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Somebody's already booing. <laughs> There's only like five people in the store. Someone's you don't booing. want it. I know everyone loves me, so I just want to thank you for loving me. No, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I don't have nothing to say. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks, mm -hmm. bro. Well, thank you, Venia. Five times in a row. Bye. That's really very impressive. Really sick, Venia. Uh, man, really that Robin is Ninja. nice, yo. Dude, uh, man, people were really high. Actually, a lot of people were in the chat that I don't normally see that actually wanted to see Jewel play you. So that, that Robin was good. is nice, Yeah, dude, dog. Jewel, really solid, man. Oh. Really amazing Robin. 
Uh, made it all the way through winners. Finally, you had to take him out two sets. He only lost to you the whole tournament. Wasn't easy, bro. Wasn't easy. Yeah. I'll give him that. Impressive. All right, guys. So we're going to go home. Tomorrow's the next level battle circuit. In two weeks, we'll be back here for Team DA Smash. Uh, thanks, everyone.